Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick Q&A video today. The first question is a question on YouTube on our succulent care video. Somebody asked if I have a schedule for watering my succulents. I don't really have a schedule. I check them every so often. Usually I'll go in and like summertime, I'll check them a couple times a week. When it's really hot in the wintertime, I check them about every 10 to 14 days. So it just depends on the weather. On our budworm video on how to kill budworms, somebody asked, is it really that bad to just leave them? You can leave them, but then you won't have flowers. So there's really no point in planting flowers unless you want to take care of the budworms. And about the budworm video, I don't think I really explained it very well, the spray I use. Um, the active ingredient is BT, which is Bacillus thuringiensis. And I can't say that it's exactly organic, but it is naturally occurring. It's not labeled organic. It's a naturally occurring bacteria found in the soil. And when the budworm ingests it, it poisons them from the inside out. It's kind of a slower kill. It takes a couple of days, but it's not a chemical. So it's a naturally occurring bacteria, and I just feel good about it because it doesn't hurt honeybees. Oh, somebody asked me, uh, when we went to Cultivate in Ohio, somebody asked if I designed the sets at the booth that we were at, and I did not. I just got to come and partake in this beautiful event. There was a whole team of people that came together and put together those sets. Really talented people. Okay guys, time out from the video for just a second. In this next set of questions, we actually posted on Facebook that we were filming this Q&A video and to ask any questions that you might have. When we were done filming, questions were still coming in and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to answer them so I was trying to hide the post and in my efforts to hide it I accidentally deleted it. So this next set of questions will not have a caption below it and that's why I deleted it, my bad. Time back in. So someone asked if I have a vegetable garden and I have a lot of vegetables in containers. There was a couple of raised beds in our new house when we moved in and I plunked a few things in there. There's no design to it at all. But our big backyard um, garden, the one in the way back of our property, I'm planning on changing into a vegetable garden next year. It's gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait. She also asked, what are your favorite flowers to plant during the fall? Mom's cabbage, kale, asters. I love using herbs in fall containers like rosemary and sage. Those are such pretty textures. Pansies, Dusty Miller. I love Dusty Miller. How do you keep chipmunks from digging holes in potted flowers? I don't deal with that problem so I don't have a super great answer for you. I know that there are repellents that are really good. Repels All is a great brand. I've also heard of people putting like pieces of chicken wire. I don't know if that's a thing but I wouldn't dig through that if I was a chipmunk. How do you know when to water succulents? They are actually really telling as to when they need water. You'll notice their leaves starting to pucker a little bit and um, or if the soil is starting to like dry away from the sides of the container that means you've probably waited a little too long. I would keep them on a somewhat consistent schedule. I check mine a couple times a week during the summer. During the winter when they're inside I check them every 10 to 14 days. When you use succulents in a birdbath fairy garden and it rains will the water collect in the birdbath and kill your succulents? How do you keep the soil drained without tipping the birdbath over sideways to drain it? If I were planting succulents in a birdbath outside I would probably drill a hole for drainage. If it's one inside, I'd probably not drill a hole. So yeah, always drainage if you can. If not, you're gonna have to cover it from the rain. There's really no good way unless you can tip it over to get that water out. Somebody just asked where um, they can order baby toes. Go to altmanplants.com. They sell baby toes and they're really cute. When succulents get tall and leggy, what's the best thing to do? Propagate them to have a smaller version or start over? How exactly? We did a video on how to propagate succulents. We will link it in the description or comment section below. Um, what I do is I cut off the top. Uh, we call that beheading the plant. Cut off the top and you can root that. And then you can pop off any of the really healthy leaves and propagate those. Yeah, just watch the video. What is a good fertilizer to buy for a garden? Not the name brand, but the numbers like 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10 is just fine. Um, I like to use Garden Tone. I've been using it forever. Uh, Espoma makes it. It's a 344 and it's a slow release organic. I really like to use a slow release uh, as often as I can because then I know my plants are slowly getting fed instead of getting a quick shot of fertilizer and then it go it's gone and I have to worry about you know fertilizing all the time. Um, 10, 10, 10 is fine. It depends on what you're going for too. If you're wanting more growth like foliar growth or fruit set, um, that kind of thing. I think that that deserves a video all of its own though. So we'll get on it. Will a bronze pot kill plants? I have no idea. How often should I water a small indoor fern? Why can't I keep any ferns alive? My uh, favorite is the maidenhair fern, but I've murdered them all. Any tips? Ferns are tough inside, especially if you have forced air or a um, wood burning stove. 
they dry plants out so fast and ferns like to be humid so you have to mist them all the time. They like to be kept on the moist side. I check mine a couple times a week. Usually I give them a pretty good soak so they only need it once a week. But ferns are tricky. I used to kill them all the time too. It's just kind of a learning curve. And also they'll do better in different parts of your house. So if you have ferns that aren't doing well in one spot, move them somewhere else and see how they do. I also find that a lot of people say they're low light and most house plants that say that they're low light will do okay in low light, but they do better if you give them a little bit more light. Not direct sun, but a bright spot. On one of our garden tour videos, somebody asked who takes care of it all. Well, Erin and I both do. Um, Erin takes care of the grass and spraying weeds like in our driveway area and that kind of thing. I take care of everything else. So all of the flower beds, all of the weeding, all of the container watering, I do. Um, but you know what? It's something that I love to do. So I'm super, super happy. I feel super blessed that we have this new home where we have more space to do what we love. And I, it takes me about an hour and a half to water containers every single day, but I really like it. It's kind of like my therapy, like downtime because it doesn't take any real physical labor to do that. And I can just think, like I don't have to really think about what I'm doing, I just water. It's really nice. And um, I used to work full time at the nursery that my parents own, uh, but I've been able to scale back. So I'm not working five days a week there anymore. I'm able to dedicate a little bit more time at home um, to just take care of the gardens and make videos. Feel super, super blessed and lucky. On the DIY hanging rain gutter garden, somebody asked how I got started gardening. Um, I've been gardening since I, I can remember. My parents um, have five acres outside of town. We moved there when I was six. I don't really remember a whole lot before then. Um, and they love to garden. Um, my family has a garden store nursery and um, I had to work in the garden growing up. Uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays were chore days. We had our daily chores every day outside and then we had big chore days on Tuesdays and Saturdays. A lot of weeding, like cutting thistles out of the pasture, weeding the massive rock wall that led down to our orchard that was covered in fire ants. I thought it was total slave labor and I thought I would never end up doing gardening as my job. And now I want to do nothing but garden. How did you team up with Proven Winners? They just emailed us. We were just doing our thing, making videos. It was just a hobby. And they emailed and asked us if we wanted to work on a couple projects together. And of course, I wanted to jump at the opportunity because I have been using Proven Winners plants for a long, long time. We sell a lot of them down at the nursery where I work. So I was already pretty familiar with their uh, plants and I really like them. So we did those projects and we decided that we really worked well together. We're really compatible. So we decided to do more projects and we still are. We're having such a good time. And the best thing about uh, Proven Winners as a whole is that when they very first came to us, their question to us was, how can we in uh, enable you guys to inspire more people to garden? It wasn't like, how can we sell something? Or, you know, how can we, you know, there was nothing about that, not about selling or money or anything. It was about educating people about gardening, inspiring them to garden. And that was my goal from the very beginning of Garden Answer. If we can do something pretty enough or cool enough or, or whatever enough for somebody to get up and go outside and do something out in the garden, that is the best reward to me. And that is my goal. And that's why I love it when you guys send me pictures and updates of your projects. I do see them all. I see all of your messages, all of your posts to page, all of the comments. I really, really need to get more time. I need to have more time to be able to answer all of you. I wish I could. Um, it's just become there's so many that I haven't been able to answer or respond to as many of you as I would really like to, but I do see them all and I love it. So please, please, please keep sending them. Let me see if there's any, I, I just, I feel bad asking people to do questions and then if I can't answer them all. Dexter's right here on the table, right below us. So cute. Okay, this is a really good one. Somebody is asking me about my succulent arrangements and um, she says that sometimes, and I realize most of the videos are in fast motion, it looks like I'm merely setting the plants um, on or in the dirt and not pushing soil around uh, the root balls and I know it looks like that when we speed up videos it always kind of takes on it takes away that element of like completion but I do they're all packed in really tightly with soil she said did the succulents not need to be pushed well into the soil or is that an illusion because of the speed of the videos and will the succulents thrive for years or are they more of a seasonal plant so yeah it is an illusion they're all 
packed in really, really well. Um, all of my arrangements that are packed in that tight will last for at least a season without any major overhaul. At a season, I mean a year. I may every few months need to pop a little one out here or there just to make room for the others, but any major overhaul on the planter I won't have to do for about a year. When succulents are planted close and together like that, they don't tend to grow as quickly, and I also don't fertilize as often when they're all packed in, and that way I just don't deal with the growth like I would if I was regularly fertilizing, but they all do really well. Somebody is asking about burn tips on a stilby leaves. A stilby is a great shade loving plant, but they are total babies. They like lots and lots and lots of water. Um, if you can give them a spot that gets morning sun and afternoon shade, they like it the best because that little block of light helps them perform better uh, bloom wise. The blooms are better colors and you get more blooms, but if they're in hot afternoon sun, they'll tend to burn, or if they don't get enough water, they'll burn. So that's probably why your leaves are burning on yours. Too much sun, not enough water, possibly. Okay, there are more questions on the post that we made on Facebook, but I think we're out of time. So I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question, we will be doing this again and hopefully more frequently. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. See, I told you he was sitting next to me. He's such a happy boy.